Amid cultural changes and shifts in society, certain moments in history stand out and capture the essence of a bygone era. One such period is the lively and brightly lit 1980s, where Friday nights had a special charm filled with nostalgia and energy. As the sun set, a unique vibe took over, turning ordinary moments into something extraordinary. This is a trip back to a time when Friday nights were more than just a break in the week. They were a cultural sensation, blending music, fashion, and a growing spirit of friendship. So this is what Friday nights were like in the 1980s. In the 1980s, Friday nights often involved a trip to a video rental store, with Blockbuster being a particularly iconic name in this experience. The vibrant neon sign and the recognizable blue and yellow logo were like guideposts for movie lovers seeking their Friday night entertainment. Walking into these stores felt like entering a world full of movie possibilities. Choosing the perfect movie was an enjoyable task. Shelves were stacked with rows of VHS tapes, each cover vying for attention. Browsing through the aisles, whether alphabetically or checking out the latest releases, became a shared experience. Groups of friends or families would gather, discussing different genres or finding humor in the quirky descriptions on the back of the movie boxes. Before things change and get even more confusing. Within the fluorescent lit and popcorn scented atmosphere, these video rental stores became centers for exploring cinema. The excitement was tangible as customers carefully picked their films, anticipating the entertainment that awaited them at home. The hands-on experience of holding a physical copy, placing it in the distinct blockbuster case and taking it to the counter for checkout was an integral part of the process. The popularity of VHS tapes in the 1980s not only changed how people watched movies, but also turned these stores into cultural hubs. Beyond just a place to rent movies, video rental stores became communal spaces where people of all ages connected over a shared love for storytelling. Video club memberships, you'll get your own video cassette recorder. Friday nights were about the journey to the video store, the togetherness in selecting a film, and the excitement of the cinematic adventure waiting at home. In parallel with the rise of video rental stores where movie enthusiasts bonded over their love for storytelling, another transformative cultural force emerged. Did you know that MTV wasn't just a channel, it was a cultural phenomenon that transformed the entire music industry in the 80s? Friday nights gained a new energy thanks to MTV's arrival. The channel transformed how teenagers connected with and savored music. Now, Friday nights weren't just for TV. They were about diving into the thrilling sights and sounds MTV had to offer. MTV or music television became a game changer, shaking up the music scene and the way people enjoyed music. The nights became special as teenagers eagerly tuned in to see the latest music videos. The channel's programs were a mix of creative visuals paired with the hottest hits of the time. Icons like Madonna, Michael Jackson, and Prince became closely associated with the captivating spectacle of MTV's music videos. Beyond its role as a music showcase, MTV had a significant impact on fashion trends and culture. The channel influenced not only what people heard, but also what they saw shaping the preferences and styles of a whole generation. Viewers weren't just watching music, they were immersing themselves in a complete aesthetic experience that influenced their clothing, hairstyles, and social circles. Friday nights spent watching MTV weren't just about entertainment, they were about cultural immersion. The channel became a powerful trendsetter, introducing audiences to new sounds, styles, and artists. It created a shared experience that fueled conversations in school hallways and weekend gatherings. In many American communities, Friday nights were all about high school sports events. These gatherings, lit up by stadium lights, were a big deal for both participants and spectators. Whether it was the intense clashes of football or the fast-paced action on the basketball court, Friday nights showcased athleticism and community spirit. High school football games especially were the highlight. The excitement built up all week, and when Friday evening came, people gathered at the local stadium to cheer on their teams. The atmosphere was electric, with fans in school colors creating a united front that extended beyond the field. Basketball games were also a key part of the Friday night tradition. 
The fast-paced game, the squeak of sneakers, and the loud cheers from the crowd made for an intense experience. Families, friends, and neighbors came together in the bleachers, forming connections that went beyond the school gym. Beyond the sports action, these events brought the community together. Local businesses supported the teams, creating a relationship that strengthened the community. The pride and school spirit in the air were contagious, creating a shared identity that went beyond individual differences. At the core of these Friday night events was a community celebration. Victories were shared triumphs and defeats were collective disappointments. These gatherings became a crucial part of the social calendar, providing a platform for making friends, celebrating local talent, and nurturing a community spirit that lasted beyond the final buzzer or whistle. In high school sports events, Friday nights were not just about competition. They were about building connections, fostering pride, and weaving the colorful fabric of community life. As we delve into nostalgic reflections on those spirited gatherings, have you ever thought about how biking in the 1980s created lasting memories and strengthened friendships? Keep watching to find out. Biking around town either alone or with friends was a simple and enjoyable way to spend Friday nights. Whether cruising through neighborhoods or exploring hidden trails, biking provided a feeling of freedom and friendship under the starlit sky. As the sun set, turning the sky into a colorful canvas, the sound of bicycle bells echoed through the streets. In the 1980s, biking was a cultural phenomenon that captured the spirit of youth and adventure. Laughter and the rhythmic whirring of bike chains filled the air as friends rode together, creating lasting memories. Even solo riders found peace in navigating their bikes through quiet streets. The hum of tires on the road and the gentle breeze provided a meditative escape from daily life. Friday nights became a time for personal reflection as individuals pedaled through the peaceful landscapes of their hometowns, enjoying the serenity of the night. For those seeking adventure, hidden trails became the playgrounds for the biking community. Secret paths through parks or wooded areas set the stage for thrilling rides. The moonlight filtering through the trees added enchantment to these excursions. Friendships grew stronger as riders tackled challenging terrains together sharing stories and laughter along the way. The 1980s were a fantastic era for blockbuster films, especially on Friday nights when people eagerly went to movie theaters for a captivating experience. The theaters buzzed with excitement as audiences awaited the magic of storytelling on the big screen. On these memorable Friday nights, theaters turned into popular spots for those seeking the thrill of the latest releases. This era produced classic movies featuring larger-than-life characters, impressive special effects, and gripping stories. Yeah, I got you! I got you on camera! The neon signs outside theaters promised adventure and entertainment, inviting moviegoers into a world of imagination. Watching a film on the big screen during these iconic Friday nights was a shared celebration. Whether with friends, family, or solo, people gathered in dark auditoriums, eagerly anticipating the start of the movie. For many days before the, end of our... the theater experience went beyond the film itself, immersing audiences from the opening credits to the final scene. Friday nights in the 1980s were a time of collective enjoyment, with theaters echoing with laughter, gasps, and applause. As iconic films played, the magic of the movies became a cultural touchstone. The 1980s not only influenced blockbuster cinema, but also created lasting memories of communal joy during Friday night movie outings, leaving an unforgettable mark on entertainment history. Beyond the cinematic realm, the era ushered in a new wave of interactive and immersive experiences, prompting enthusiasts to explore the strategic planning behind the joystick maneuvers that defined the arcade experience in the 1980s. Curious about the fascinating world of arcade games? Join us as we delve into the secrets waiting to be uncovered. Arcade games were a major highlight of Friday nights in the 1980s, offering an exciting alternative for entertainment. Video arcades decked out with vibrant neon lights and lively electronic sounds became iconic places where people of all ages gathered for thrilling gaming experiences. 
Classics like Pac-Man and Space Invaders turned these arcades into virtual realms of excitement and friendly competition. The allure of the arcade was hard to resist. Friday nights were synonymous with chasing high scores and earning bragging rights by mastering the latest games. Arcades became social hubs where friends gathered around game cabinets, sharing tips and eagerly waiting for their turn at the joystick. Do you know where Flynn is? Yeah, he's over there on his machine. The clatter of tokens, the beeping of machines and the cheers or groans of victory created a lively atmosphere that echoed through the neon lit corridors of the arcade. Each game had its enthusiasts, whether it was the precision of Galaga or the strategic planning of Donkey Kong. The arcade experience formed a vibrant subculture fueled by a competitive spirit and a shared passion for gaming. Friday nights in the arcade were a sensory delight, with flickering screens and electronic sounds transporting players to fantastical worlds. The friendships forged over arcade cabinets became an integral part of the experience as people tested their skills and formed alliances in the pursuit of gaming glory. House parties in the 1980s were lively get-togethers that perfectly embodied the spirit of the time. They were filled with energetic music, infectious vibes, and a carefree sense of celebration. People transformed their homes into lively entertainment hubs where music echoed through the night and everyone expressed joy through dancing. Hosts played the role of curators, carefully choosing songs to create the perfect playlist for the evening. The air buzzed with excitement as guests entered the lively atmosphere. Guys, <laughs> this party is totally lit! Greeted by the rhythmic sounds of synthesizers, drum machines, and catchy 80s tunes. The playlists reflected the diverse musical landscape of the time, featuring iconic pop hits and new wave anthems. Dancing was more than just an activity. It was a shared experience that brought people together. The dance floor showcased various styles, from energetic breakdancing to casual yet enthusiastic grooves. Disco lights, mirrored balls, and neon decorations enhanced the festive ambiance, creating an immersive environment where the carefree spirit of the 80s thrived. These house parties were characterized by laughter, socializing, and the creation of lasting memories. Conversations flowed alongside the music, and friendships grew stronger as guests bonded over shared interests and the collective enjoyment of the moment. The 1980s house party scene was more than a social event. It was a cultural phenomenon that celebrated the vibrancy of the decade, leaving lasting memories for those who embraced the joyous friendship of Friday nights spent dancing to the 80s soundtrack. As we delve into the dynamic cultural landscape of the 1980s, Let's explore how music formats underwent a remarkable transformation, from the beloved vinyl records to the revolutionary CD. Stick around for the journey. In the 1980s, Friday nights were all about exploring new music. Enthusiasts eagerly embraced the latest hits on cassette tapes, vinyl records, or the newly introduced CD format. Listening to music became a cherished ritual, happening either in the privacy of a bedroom stereo or during communal gatherings with a shared boombox. Music wasn't just a backdrop. It played a central role in social bonding and allowed individuals to express their uniqueness. In their bedrooms, people carefully curated playlists that reflected their tastes and moods. The sound of inserting a cassette tape or placing a vinyl record on a turntable marked the start of a personal musical journey. The magnetic pull of a favorite album or the excitement of discovering new tracks created a deep connection between the listener and the music, making it an intimate experience. On the other hand, communal gatherings around a boombox brought people together, transforming Friday nights into shared musical experiences. Friends gathered around, eagerly anticipating the DJ's next song, and the atmosphere vibrated with the rhythm of the chosen tracks. Whether it was a dance pop anthem or a soulful power ballad, the music served as a unifying force, sparking conversations and uplifting the collective spirit of the moment. The roller disco craze captured the imagination of Friday night enthusiasts in the 80s. 
Roller skating rinks turned into vibrant arenas where people flaunted their moves to disco beats. This trend blended athleticism and dance, fostering an energetic and inclusive atmosphere. On Friday nights, roller skating rinks were filled with neon lights, mirrored balls, and the thumping sounds of disco hits. Decked out in vibrant and retro roller disco attire, skaters glided gracefully across the polished floor. Laughter and conversations echoed throughout the rinks, generating an atmosphere charged with excitement for carefree roller skating adventures with friends. The roller disco culture fostered a sense of community, bringing together people from diverse backgrounds. Whether a skilled skater performing impressive tricks or a beginner cautiously navigating the oval, everyone felt welcome in this dynamic space. The music served as the backdrop for a collective dance, transcending skill levels and promoting togetherness. Friday nights at roller skating rinks became a celebration of movement, music, and social connection. This trend mirrored the carefree and exuberant spirit of the 1980s, where people sought joy and companionship amid cultural shifts. Roller disco not only made a lasting mark on the era, but also embodied the lasting yearning for unrestricted expression and shared experiences during those lively Friday nights. Interested in the diverse genres that lit up Friday night concerts in the 80s? Let's dive in and find out. In the 80s, famous bands from different genres toured extensively, giving fans a chance to enjoy thrilling performances. Concert venues nationwide became special places where music truly came alive, and attending these events became a significant experience for many. The anticipation before a Friday night concert was unmatched. Fans eagerly waited for the lights to dim and the first notes to fill the venue. The atmosphere was electric, with a diverse audience sharing a love for music. The 1980s saw the emergence of legendary bands in rock, pop, and new wave, turning their concerts into a cultural phenomenon. Radio Guru, Radio Whether in big arenas or cozy clubs, Friday Night Live music offered a variety of experiences. Fans were captivated by emotional performances, the excitement of live instruments, and the magnetic presence of their musical idols. The combination of sound and spectacle created unforgettable memories for those fortunate enough to be part of these live performances. Come on, everybody sing, don't you know, girl? More than just musical events, Friday night concerts were communal celebrations. Strangers became friends through their shared appreciation for the transformative power of live music. As the lights dimmed and the crowd cheered, the journey into sonic bliss began, leaving lasting impressions on the hearts of those who experienced the euphoria of live music during that iconic era. The legacy of those Friday night concerts lives on in the hearts of those who were part of the excitement under the spotlight of live music in the 1980s. Bowling alleys in the 1980s were vibrant hubs of social activity, defining the classic Friday night experience. These places were known for fostering solidarity and friendly competition, offering a unique mix of leisure and sport. Friends gathered to enjoy the excitement of rolling a ball down the polished lanes with their laughter blending with the sounds of rolling balls and the satisfying crash of pins. The inviting atmosphere was enhanced by the distinct smell of freshly popped popcorn and the glow of neon lights, creating a welcoming environment that appealed to people of all ages and backgrounds. Friday nights at the bowling alley were more than just a game. They became a cultural phenomenon. You feel that zen. From the sound of the ball hitting the pins to the cheerful cheers resonating across the lanes, each moment contributed to a shared experience. Bowling leagues, whether competitive or casual, thrived, creating a sense of community and friendly rivalry. The bowling alley served as a melting pot where individuals from various walks of life came together, connected by the simple joy of knocking down pins. In the 1980s, these alleys weren't just places to bowl. They were the vibrant heart of Friday night social life. But wait, that's not all. During the lively Friday nights of the 1980s, Cruising became a beloved social activity that captured the essence of youthful companionship. 
friends eagerly packed into cars, windows rolled down, and music set the tone for the night's adventure. The city transformed into a playground of exploration with vibrant lights and bustling streets. Cruising wasn't just a way to get around. It was a ritual that created a sense of togetherness and shared experiences. The open road became a canvas for expressing freedom, and navigating city streets symbolized the carefree spirit of the era. As engines hummed and laughter filled the air, friendships deepened amid the shared excitement of the night. Cruising, with its windows down and music playing, not only allowed for discovering hidden gems in the city, but also created lasting memories that would be fondly revisited by those who were fortunate enough to enjoy this quintessential 1980s pastime. In the delightful scene of 1980s Friday nights, late night diners stood out as the perfect setting for cherished and laid back conversations. As the work week ended, people sought solace in these places where the warm glow of neon signs and the comforting smell of comfort food created an inviting atmosphere. Diners weren't just places to eat, they became communal spaces where friends and family gathered to relax and discuss the highlights of their week. Whether patrons were looking for a quick and satisfying meal or desiring extended conversations over hot coffee and snacks, diners offered the ideal environment. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you had the chicken. The clatter of utensils and the soft murmur of conversations formed a soothing background, creating an atmosphere conducive to connection. These spots served as retreats for unwinding, where the stresses of the outside world seemed to fade, allowing for genuine moments of relaxation and joy. Late night diner hangouts were about the shared experience of coming together to appreciate life's simple pleasures. The booths and counter spaces witnessed laughter, shared stories, and the creation of lasting memories, solidifying these diners as a vital part of the 1980s Friday night culture.